finding the healthier food options that you can grab quickly. I haven't tried them myself. Um, I have several people that I know that enjoy like the Trevally uh, burgers. I think they have beef, pork, and chicken burgers that are individually wrapped and they can go in your in your freezer for you to cook real quick that are uh, responsibly raised you know meat products I know in our family my husband and sons they love to snack on like little crackers before dinner time and if it's the weekend it's beer and crackers and maybe some nuts out or you know salsa or whatever so I found simple mills m-i-l-l-s has a very minimally processed cracker line probably about four actual ingredients like almond flour, coconut flour, arrowroot powder, or, or cream of tartar, or something like that in it. But then after that, it's just a series of spices. You know, if it's a, if you're a cheese it person, then they have a really good cheesy one. One of my daughter-in-law's loves cheese it So we always make sure that we have some here for her. And the funny thing is they're really, really rich and they actually are made with cheese, which is kind of cool. You can just enjoy them and realize, wow, even though I'm eating what appears to be a cheese it it's, it's minimally processed, has healthy fats, healthy proteins in it. And um, I'm actually eating a nutrient dense, clean cracker, <laughs> which is great. That is a convenient food that we buy around here. My husband likes to make homemade salsas, so we do buy a tortilla chip that is not made out of corn because I am grain free, and it's made out of the cassava root. And they, as a matter of fact, friends that come over, they're like, ooh, are these those good chips? And guess what, folks? You can now find them. They're the Siete brand. You can find them even over at Safeway these days, even in little old Sonora, you can find them. Same price, they're not $9 bag of chips. I think they're $3.99, just like all the junk stuff out there. So I'm not saying fill your day up with uh, alternative versions of the same foods, but you can still have convenience and you can still have some foods that you have been raised on that you're familiar with and still be eating a healthy lifestyle. And I don't recommend that you go out and get the keto donuts, you know, or something like that. Um, I've read a lot of the uh, uh, ingredients in some of those and it's just, it's just getting crazy with the processed low carb foods. So, so be mindful of that. Lift, lift your weights. You gotta build some muscle, and muscles are hungry. They, they need food, and, and we store glycogen, we store sugar in our muscles, and when we go and do that awesome um, burst training or whatever style of training, it feels good, especially for women, you know, with our, with our hormone uh, regulation needing to be balanced. It feels good to go out and, and get some of the energy out and lift weights, and of course, trying to plan against osteoporosis. I don't want to be all hunched over, right? I don't want to uh, trip and fall. One of my clients just had a trip and fall. She's 75. She sprung back up. It was traumatizing on her body, but she didn't break any bones and she was also able to assist getting herself back up. Praise God. She's been training with me for a year and a half. That's one of the primary reasons she is in training is for uh, proper movement, proper alignment, and strength training to have some meat on her bones to help her maintain that independence. Sleep. It's always shocking to me how few hours people get uh, actually sleeping. My husband and I get up around four o'clock every single morning and we go to bed uh, 8 30, 9 o'clock, sometimes 9 30. But boy, we hit the sack. We're out. Most of the clients that I get, typically they're going to bed around 11 or 12 and they're simply playing on their phone or watching Netflix or something and then they're wondering why they just can't go to sleep. And so sleep aids, uh, sleeping medication is not an uncommon thing for me to see. Also um, anxiety medication in a lot of my clients, which gets rectified when we swing your eating and you're moving and you're resting and you're sleeping around. One last thing is stress management. Actually meditating, uh, journaling, breathing. I cannot stress to you the importance of it. 
Um, I love yoga. I recommend for uh, people to, to have that quiet space and time, but you really need to gauge what kind of yoga environment you are in. Is it just a social environment for you? Or are you actually really able to sit and breathe? Is it nice to have the instructor or do you find that you're distracted? Are you just worried about what you look like to everybody else in the room? If you find yoga to be too distracting, live in person that I suggest that you look on YouTube or there's lots of apps like the Gaia app. I really enjoy G-A, G-A-I-A app that you can do it on your phone, on your, on your desktop or, you know, whatever. And, and you could do it without all of those distractions because we really need you to manage that stress. I find journaling um, awesome. I do my venting. I do my intention for the day. I do my self-improvement for the day. I'm a Christian. It's very prayerful. And I just find it a necessary part of balancing my very busy, rather uh, could be rather st stressful life. But I don't feel stressed because I manage it every day. And then, of course, your hydration that we've already talked about. So, yeah, how do we remove the stubborn fat? You got to remove the frankenfoods, guys. Everybody knows it. They just don't want to do it. <laughs> right? When you believe what you are hearing, when you believe that, then you're going to make changes. And sometimes I say to my students, you have to fake it until you make it. I'm going to continue to, to give you the information. I'm going to continue to share ways to make this kind of lifestyle uh, change a nice smooth transition and blend for you. If just listening isn't enough, if you still feel like you are wandering alone out in the desert, please give me a call. I got a new phone number, 209-284-5575. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's 209-284-5575. That's Brandy Lloyd Personal Training, Holistic Nutrition. You can also check out my website and you can see some of the physical evidence of my, some of my students once they have employed this. But it's not really just the physical evidence, it's listening to them about the lifestyle cha changes, uh, the lack of cravings, the ability to go for long periods of time without eating and not being freaked out or not, not feeling good, and how that does free you. How they don't have to worry about the effect of toxins in their lives um, or the damage from their prescri prescription medications. When you get to a point of belief, it's amazing. But like I was just getting to, sometimes you have to fake it until you make it. Sometimes you have to do a quote unquote protocol and you have to ease yourself in. I used to just get in, however, to a swimming pool when I was little. And now I can only do it two ways now. <laughs> I remember my mom being kind of the same way and I was like, why are you getting in the pool like that? She would ease in a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of the time and transition until she was in. Of course, then most times she didn't get her hair wet. But, or she would jump in. If we were at the lake, she would just jump in. Depends on how cold the water is. <laughs> I totally understand it now that I am her age and as I think back at those memories. But either way, just move into the water. It feels great. It, I've never ever um, regretted a day that I chose healthy options. I've never regretted a day that I have eaten in such a way or a week or a month that I can have that glass of wine whenever I want with little to no consequences because my body's ready for it. And now I could actually take advantages of the good properties in say a nice glass of red wine. So that's what I hope for you. I hope that you come to a point of belief. I hope because of that belief or that desire to believe it, that I hope you maintain your education and you continue to seek out ways to improve and change your life. And with that, I hope you feel empowered to keep walking because you're seeing the changes. And I hope that they are actual lifestyle changes and not diets. Please don't take this pill that is now going around, the magic pill, the magic, this will fix everything pill. If it sounds too good to be true, I'm just gonna say it without even seeing this pill, it is. 
There's nothing you can rub on that cellulite that's going to make it go away. There's no magic pill that you're going to take. What was it, Jack and the Beanstalk, right? He had the three magic beans. What ended up at the top of the Beanstalk was a giant that almost killed him, right? I've actually like seen people grab these magic pills and almost lose their life because of them. So you just have to do the work, my friends. And it's going to seem maybe a little bit about work in the beginning, but pretty soon um, it'll be easy peasy and you'll be sharing the love and paying it forward in a similar way that I am inside your own house and your own life and your own circle of, of work friends and friend friends and extended family. And so I wish you well. If you need help, please give me a call. I do distance coaching. I do local coaching. Not everybody sees me three times a week. Sometimes it's once a week, every other week, once a month. We check in and do coaching or quarterly kind of stuff. But, but a big part of the coaching is not only just coaching you forward, right, in some of these lifestyle changes. It's also looking at your history, right, and also really doing some lab work and finding out exactly where you are right now. Because if I'm telling you that you can have coconut oil and then you're super allergic to coconut oil, that's a problem. And we don't know that until we've done certain testing. So I wish you well. Um, I wish you good health. And please share this with other people. I'm, I'm paying it forward to you. I've been standing here between clients and instead of relaxing or being outside on my deck, I've been paying it forward to you. Do yourself a favor. Get off of this podcast. Send me a comment. I love those. A comment or a request for content and what you're looking to hear. And then send it forward. Let someone else know about it because... Man, if I had my way, I I would love to see the world healed. And for this just to be a space in our history that we look back on like, whoa, I can't believe that people used to eat like that, right? Okay, enjoy your day. Thanks for listening.